Hello, hello, hello. This is like the um, fourth try I've had tonight to try to do this. We have been suffering from really bad internet connection. So I just met my friends at Pre Ski. We've been here. Husband, friends, place. It's kind of cool, right? So they just left. So I thought I would come on in again and just try to do this this live one more time tonight. Anyway, it, the topic is pressing the easy button, and it's sort of been... Uh, Michael, how, how annoying has today been? Because people are just making things difficult and not doing their job. So it's kind of a problem out here in a small town mentality. And I, I, I um, we're good, thanks. She's, she's the only one here who's really good. So it's a problem here, our friends have just moved here and people like don't do their job because they're here for a different reason. They're here for vacation. They're here because they feel entitled. They're here because they feel like they don't want to do stuff, even though that's their job. It's, it kind of boils down to a lack of integrity a lot. But the simple answer is just press the easy button. So if you're in a state in your business, in your life, and you have clients, you have customers, you have people who are um, responsible for your work, why are you making it more difficult when if you have to do something at a certain time or a certain place, it has to get done, right? Not too crazy. So anyway, I'll go on about that a little more, but if you guys are new to me right now, I'm Sharon Haver, and I help other talented and savvy entrepreneurs who realize that their expertise is not enough to stand out in a crowded market. And right now, I'm over at the Four Seasons. You see that weird... See that stuff behind me? Some art. So I'm at the Four Seasons um, in Jackson Hole, and I th I really wanted to bring this on because one of the things is like, not only am I a business person, but I'm a New Yorker, and in New York, when stuff has to get done, like, stuff has to get done, you know. And if you don't do it, uh, hello, there's a million other people who will do it for you. But it's a different mentality out here, and this is what we were just talking about with our friends because they're having a similar issue of people really boiling down to not having integrity. And when you don't have an integrity and you're kind of like elastic in your um, time, elastic in your word, elastic in actually getting the job done, it might be totally cool for you, but it's certainly not cool for the people on the receiving end. And it's a problem out here. It's a huge problem out here. So what I'm saying to you is, as a business owner, when you're going and you're going back at your business, because I'm sure you're not as like, I don't even know what the word is, lame as some of the things going on out here. But what you need to realize is that if you give your word to something or you're trying to do something, instead of overcomplicating it with like extraneous drama and all sorts of weird stuff and excuses and texts and things and back and forth that I thought this, I didn't know that, and just a bunch of lame crap excuses, it's so much easier to just hit the easy button and know what you want to do, when you're going to do it, and just keep your word and your integrity. Sure, stuff happens and people are, you know, imperfect individuals, but if you just try to hit the easy button on your integrity, duh, life is just easier. People aren't as freaked out, annoyed, pissed off at you. And when a bunch, about six people sit together and they meet, in, you know, for apres ski and they're chatting around, they're not sharing names of people who like screw them over. So you don't want to do that. And the thing is, you say, that's not me, that's not me. But there's a whole long list of people who really don't live up to what they're supposed to be doing. So when it's your business, when it's your time, say what you mean, mean what you say, do what you're going to do, and don't make stupid excuses. It's kind of like that easy, right? So I'm going to help you out right now. If you want to say what you mean and do what you do, online and how you show up even if you were in this big black furry hat which by the way guys is fake totally fake I want you to go over to AuthenticSuperstar.com. Join me right now for the free five-day challenge. I will help you hit the easy button and show up like the star you are in photos so that you can have a brand message that is completely 
absolutely intact and it's easy for you you're not freaking out you're not trying to find photos you're not confident on camera you're unconfident on comment you're just really on top of what you need to do so authenticsuperstar.com and just in business guys no matter what your business is keep your word it's not so terrible keep your word do what you say you're going to do when you say you're going to do it i know i once had a speaking coach who was kind of like very right wing crazy sometimes about this stuff but the one thing i always say you know larry winget i love you on this one do what you say when you say you're going to do it absolutely makes the world go around so much smoother hope that helps let me try to send you around here see it's really kind of pretty and let's see can you see the mountain behind me see, that's the ski mountain Right. Trying not to get people in here. That's the fireplace. And that's me. So anyway, that's it. Really hit the easy button. Stop, you know, lame excuses. If you if something went wrong and you couldn't own up to it, you couldn't do it. So be it, right? Just so be it, you know. But own up to it and respect other people's intelligence and. Ex- ins- respect your own integrity and their own integrity and stand up for your word it's really so simple okay guys hit the easy button authenticsuperstar.com see you guys soon bye bye